Coach Sprunger, Virginia Military Institute, here at the 2014 Flow Nationals. First off, Coach, you guys come to a tournament like this. You rode up with Washington and Lee's coach, Coach Shearer. What's that experience like? He likes to talk. What was that like? Uh, he's a great guy. You know, we're neighbors. Uh, you know, there's the only thing separating us and the school, the two schools is, you know, the architecture. So Nate's a great guy. We, we get along well. We actually go to the same church together. But, uh, you know, it's just smoking and joking, you know, the whole time. So goofing off. Looking at VMI and what you guys are looking for in a student athlete. First off, it's a pretty demanding school. There's only a couple of schools like you, like you guys, Citadel, and the U.S. Military Academies are, are the, the five schools that actually have Division One wrestling that are military academies, correct? Correct. Yeah. So what do you guys look for when you're looking for a recruit? You know, we're looking for a clean-cut kid, a kid that... Uh, you know, he's going to be able to, you know, wrestling in itself is a tough sport, but going through uh, the school itself is, is, another, is another battle. So we're looking for a kid who's going to be mentally tough, someone who's going to be able to grind it out, um, not only in the, on the mat, but in the classroom, because, you know, the day starts at 6.30 and there are lights out at 11. And uh, so we're looking for a kid that's tough who, um, you know, good kid, get good grades, you know, like anyone else, but, you know, trouble is cannot cannot be an option at VMI so looking at VMI first off Lexington Virginia beautiful place and your campus does a butt with Washington at least like yeah. the campuses run into each other actually That's exactly it's pretty amazing but you know coach Trudgeon was there for over 30 years coach Krakowitz is in the first year as the interim coach what do you guys do in the transition period right now you didn't have an NCAA qualifier this year what do you guys got to do and how do you build towards getting, a, you know, a qualifier, multiple qualifiers next year. Yeah, Shrek, uh, you know, he's coming out with a different game plan. Um, you know, how we train our athlete, we're trying not to run down our athlete, for one. Um, trying to keep the athlete fresh because of uh, the demands of the school. But the recruit we're looking for and what we're trying to do to change the program is, you know, get more of those top 100 guys. You know, those guys that are multiple state champs. Um, so, you know, that's the first thing and taking care of our athletes a little better so they're not broken down and injured, um, you know, come end of the season. So that, that's a huge part because at VMI, our kids can get run down and uh, with the demands of the school. So part of our strategy is to get uh, our athlete fresh and peaking um, in a different way than a lot of the other schools would. Is it refreshing to come here to the Flow Nationals? and see kids wrestle the out-of-bounds rules and see the riding time. Because that's what you ultimately need to assess them on for your level that they're going to wrestle at. Right. Is it refreshing to come see that here? Yeah, it's great. It's good to see the individuals wrestling on the edge, wrestling until they hear the whistle blow. Um, you know, you get to see the guys that stop on the edge and fold close to the edge. You know, that the guy that wrestles through the out-of-bounds is the guy that, you know, who's going to be the tougher guy, the guy you want. So it's good to see that. And, you know, it's fun to watch them get the riding time because, you know, that's another thing you look for. You know, if a guy can ride or get out to understand the game of, of wrestling um, as they're trying to, you know, wrestle through the clock. It's, it's, it's great because, you know, they get the first experience. They don't have to do it in college. They can do it here in high school. Do the VMI Kidats have the most unique dual meet environment in NCAA wrestling? The Thunderdome is awesome. The Thunderdome is awesome. And, uh, you know, I've been, uh, I wrestled in the Big Ten, and I've been all over the country at different uh, you know venues wrestling and the cadets when I'm coaching there I do get chills because it's it's just great atmosphere you get the cadets on the side surrounding it the lights are black or the lights are dim and it's a great place it's a great place everyone's chanting everyone knows everyone down there and you know so can't beat the atmosphere. Everybody's right on top of everybody too, right? That's right. right at people up stand up on the track. Yeah, they got people their feet right. dangling, you know, <laughs> they're pounding on the rails and it's loud. It really is loud. And our guys really do wrestle a lot better at home. For whatever reason, the atmosphere is just electric and uh, it's fun to watch them. All right, we got the finals coming up. Anything you're looking forward to? Yeah, I want to see some tough guys. I want to see guys competing. Um, you know, I'm just excited to see some good wrestling. All right. Some good wrestling. Alex, you got anything for me, buddy? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the time, Coach. Yeah. Safe travels home, all right? Appreciate it.